Nancy Heads, Matt with Great Way Roofing. I'm standing here on the property at Park Granada in Calabasas, and I thought I'd just take a minute to run through uh, some current conditions, our top concerns, and then some recommendations. Okay, so for our current conditions, uh, we have a rock built up roof system along with a clay tile roof. Uh, we've got um, HVAC unit, a lot of conduit lines, number of skylines, and then of course we, we have a handful of drains and scuppers. The scuppers run through the other side of the parapet wall. And um, I understand the roof was built, the home was built in 87, so we're, we're sitting on with the original roof. And um, that's really it for our current conditions. We've got a lot of details up here. So we're moving along to our top concerns. Uh, top concerns, we've got, I'm gonna start with the access because we've got so many small little sections, um, just tight access points. And these pose a concern just because we've got limited space to work with. And then as materials get removed and loaded, uh, we're jumping over a lot of sections, walls and what have you. And our tear off truck and the supplier would be over there in the driveway. So we've got a, we've got a plan with um, our staging. Now, uh, moving on with the concerns, we have an HVAC unit. Um, this is definitely a concern because a lot of roof leaks stem from AC units. So it'll be important on how we go about that detail. Uh, we've got a number of skylights. This one's a large skylight, for instance, so these pose a safety concern. And um, what else, what else? Uh, I can mention these, I don't know if I mentioned the conduit lines, but we've got a lot of conduit lines. Um, That'll pose a concern, and then of course the drains. Um, we've got a handful of drains throughout the roof, and just making sure these details are right. Um, so again, those are um, that's going to tackle all of our our top concerns. For our recommendations now, uh, we'll start with the tile roof. Um, the tile section's challenging, but it's it's going to be the easiest of of the project um, recommend uh, pulling up all the tiles stacking them on the roof and putting down new paper and new flashing uh, where it's needed I do feel that we're gonna have to work together with an HVAC contractor uh, this unit um, if the roof is being removed um, this unit's gonna need to be lifted and um, you know a nice new curb and platform should be put down um, these lines we're gonna have to go ahead and remove the blocks install new blocks um, and again, get some of this stuff cleaned up here. Uh, for, for the flat roof, there's a couple different routes we can go. We can look at removing the roof, which then will, will pose challenges and concerns for all the areas we've got to turn up underneath the Z-bar, especially in the tight spaces. Um, and then over here, I saw a section that didn't even have the Z-bar um, that just runs into the wall right there. So, um, areas to pay attention to and might actually make us look into um, the idea of recommending a fluid applied acrylic roof system which would entail removing all the rock and then coming in here and flooding the roof with emulsion or acrylic along with the polyester fabric. Uh, we might even look at proposing a combination of the two systems, the, the flat roof modified um, that requires a tear off and maybe look at doing some of the small sections with the acrylic so there's a number of routes we can go with recommendations but as long as we work together with an HVAC contractor um, and then figuring out if the roof's being removed um, putting down new scuppers um, if the roof's not being removed we can reuse and utilize the existing scuppers by just encapsulating our new material with it um, but there you go I, I look forward to putting together a nice spec for you and um, we'll go from there thank you so much bye